stress and more stress. Too many things to do, too many of them at once. So many different hats and not enough hands. Notifications, obligations, overwhelming. I'll bet you aren't busier than Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak Schneerson, the previous Chabad Lubavitch Rebbe back in the 1920s. At the time, the USSR was waging a ruthless war against religion. Rabbi Schneerson took it upon himself to keep Judaism running, albeit underground, which meant single-handedly operating a secret army of volunteers covering hundreds of cities and villages across the entire USSR, fundraising, directing logistics, and outsmarting the KGB. Hey, are you still feeling busy? During those fateful years, the Rebbe's son-in-law once entered his father-in-law's office at the end of an incredibly taxing day, and shortly before the Rebbe would embark on a nighttime train ride to promote Judaism in another city, a journey fraught with terrifying personal danger. He expected to find the Rebbe under strain, but found the Rebbe sitting calmly, as if it were a regular day engaged in a task that required concentration. No stress. How did he do it? The Rebbe explained, I focus exclusively on the task at hand, regardless of my other duties or dangers hovering in the background. Okay, now we know that the secret to avoid being overwhelmed is to focus exclusively on the task at hand. But how is that done? What is the trick to staying focused? For that, we'll need another story that might just shed more light on the matter. This one is about Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, the son-in-law mentioned in the previous story, who succeeded his father-in-law as the leader of the Chabad Lubavitch movement. A group of women flew from New York to Detroit back in the 70s for Chabad's annual women's convention. A snowstorm had them stranded there for a few days longer. But when they notified the Rebbe that they were stuck in Michigan, the Rebbe told his secretary to ask them what the word stuck means. Not the literal meaning of the word, but its application. People are not stuck, he insisted. They are deliberately positioned by God. You are not stuck in Michigan, was the Rebbe's message to his stranded followers. God has personally arranged for you to remain there longer. You must seek the purpose for the divine rescheduling of your itinerary. So what's the secret to staying focused on the task before you? Keep reminding yourself that everything is orchestrated from above, meaning that there is cosmic divine purpose to each individual moment and situation. Stop. At this moment, you have a duty to fulfill. Divine providence and the task of the present outshine whatever might come next. That's all for now, but if you would like to learn more of Judaism's many messages for mankind, go to myjli.com. Locate your local JLI chapter and sign up for courses that will feed your mind, guide your heart, and reveal your soul. Music